Do you want to learn how to do this, this, and this? Well, I've got a secret. It's a lot simpler than it looks. Hi, I'm Julia Taylor, CEO and founder of Geek Pack. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to style text with CSS. It's pretty amazing what you can do with CSS. And by the end of the video, you are going to be able to learn how to do all of this. How cool is that? But first things first, I'm going to show you some of the most common CSS so that as you start to practice and experiment and play around, you're going to be able to do so much with CSS. Now I'm going to be using CodePen today. Now this is a free software that anyone can use and it lets you practice your coding. It's really, really awesome. So let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in CodePen. If you want to follow along, I highly recommend it. All you have to do is go to codepen.io and you will land on this page. Now you can sign up for a free account if you'd like, but you don't have to, we can just start coding. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click this button in the top left that says start coding and we're gonna dive in. So here in CodePen, we are going to be writing CSS, which consists of a selector and a declaration block. So the selector actually points to the HTML that we want to change. So let's start out with an H1. So we need to write some HTML in, in order to have something to change. So let's go ahead and put in, like I said, H1, and then let's have a heading title of Happy Dance because why not? So I want to, um, Close that. Okay, perfect. So we have our H1 happy dance. Now let's add in some CSS to make some changes to it. So first let's get the basics down of CSS. So we know that we want to be targeting the H1. So let's put in H1 as the selector. And next is the declaration block. And that is surrounded by curly brackets. So you can see how I just typed in one curly bracket and it automatically gave me the ending curly bracket. It just makes that easy for you. And if I hit enter or return, it gives us some space in between those curly brackets. You can have more than one declaration within the curly brackets, so long as they're separated by a semicolon, and we will do that. And each declaration includes a CSS property and value, and those are separated by a colon. So let's give it a go. Let's start with font size. So if we type in font size, and then like I said, we want a colon um, to separate the value and the property. So let's now say we want our heading one to have a font size of 100 pixels, which is massive. And of course we need to end that with a semicolon. Okay, so there we go. Our happy dance is now really, really big. It's 100 pixels big. So let's put another uh, declaration in there. So if I hit return and we come down and let's change the color. So if I say color, then let's go to red. And then now all of a sudden we have a very large heading one that is red. All right, what else can we do with this H1? Let's see, let's enter and come down to the next line. What about letter spacing? So maybe we want the letters to be spaced out more. So if we type in letter spacing, uh, and then let's go with 10 pixel just to see what that will look like. Okay, so there you can see how the letters have separated even more. You can make that more if you want. So say we wanted 20. It's, it's quite a lot, but you get the point. You can kind of play around and see what happens. Uh, what if we wanted that heading to be centered? So if we wanted the text to be aligned to center, so we would say text align center. And now all of a sudden it is aligned center. What if you wanted it to be aligned right? Then all you do is put in here aligned right. Awesome. Let's take it back to the center. Okay, what else can we do? What if we wanted an a line underneath that heading? So if we wanted that, then we want to use the CSS uh, text decoration. So think you're kind of decorating the text with a line underneath it. Text decoration, and then we would say underline. And there we go. Now that is underlined. Now what if you really wanted to mix things up and, um, and get a little bit crazy and we wanted the underline to be a different color? There's a couple ways you can do that. We could go back into this value here and we could just say the color, in this case, blue. Awesome. Uh, there's another way to do it with, with CSS. There's always multiple ways to do everything. So that's one way to do it. Another way you could do it is you could have a new value and property. Uh, so we could say text, decoration color and then say blue and there we go you achieve the same result
Another thing we could do that's really cool is called text transform. So watch what's hap what happens here. If I say text transform, and we want all of the uh, letters of that text to be uppercase, then all we have to say is uppercase. There we go. Every single letter is uppercase. And it works the same way. If you wanted every letter to be lowercase, you could do the same. And now every letter is, upper is lowercase. Okay, let's have a little bit of fun and let's play around with the text shadow. So we are going to come down on the next line and say text shadow. And so with text shadow, we're gonna put in two numbers to start. And the first number is how much you want the shadow to be on the X axis, so horizontally. And then the second number is the Y axis, so vertically. So let's do, just to kind of make it really dramatic, let's do 10 pixels uh, and then let's do 20 pixels. Uh, and then we want to say a color so that, well, now you can see it just came up as red, but if we want a different color, it helps. So what if we say green? And then now you'll see that that text shadow is come off by 10, 10 pixels, 20 pixels, and it is green. Now, what if we wanted that green to be kind of a neon-y color? So we wanted it to be a little bit fuzzy and kind of neon looking. The way to do that is we just add in a third, um, a third number. So let's uh, let's bring these down to uh, let's bring the let's have these both be ten, and then let's have uh, maybe five pixels. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now you can see how it kind of looks like a neony glow there with that, and you can change the color. Um, I say neon; that's kind of associated with green. So if we went with purple, now you can see what that looks like. So that's uh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, so there we go. That is just a very quick example of what you can do with um, styling text with CSS. Really, really awesome, isn't it? So what I'd love for you to do now is dive into CodePen yourself, play around, change stuff, add as much CSS as you can think of. And you can't, if you can't think of what the CSS could be, just go to Google, type in what it is that you want to achieve, followed by CSS, and then see what comes up and just play with it. It'll be awesome. So now that you know the theory behind it and you know what to do, let's go have some fun with inspect tools. Okay, so we're now gonna take everything that we learned in CodePen and we are going to apply it to a real website. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna be making changes to this website, but it's only showing in my browser. I'm not actually making changes to the Zoom website. <laughs> if you would like to follow along, all you need is the Chrome browser and it will just make it a lot easier for you to follow along and see what I'm doing. Okay, first things first, we want to bring up our inspect tools. So in order to do that, it just find some element on the page and we are going to right click. I'm going to use this heading text here, meet on zoom. So I'm just going to hover over that somewhere. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on inspect. Now this has brought up a, um, a dock at the bottom of the browser. Um, this is called inspect tools. Now, if you're, if you've done this and yours looks different, there's a chance that your dock might be on a different place on the, on the page. So if so, and if you want to move it over here on the right, there's these three dots. If you click on that, then you can see you can move the dock to wherever you want it to be. So yours might be on the right. You can leave it there, or if you want it to look like mine, you can move it back. I prefer the bottom, but it is entirely a personal preference. Okay, so in CodePen, we were changing the text of the H1. So here we have our H1. So let's take some of those changes from CodePen and apply them to this actual real website. So uh, over here on the left, what you're looking at in Inspect Tools, this is all the HTML. And the, over on the right, that is the CSS. So in here, let's um, start with our font size. So if I say font size, now Inspect Tools makes it really easy. It auto generates the CSS. Uh, so if you if you start typing and it comes up with, with kind of what you're looking for, and I see it there, I'm just gonna hit the tab button. And then all of a sudden I don't have to, I don't have to type the whole thing. So very helpful. And it lists all the different uh, CSS values that you could use. So it's really, really awesome. Uh, all right, so let's take the font size up to, I'm gonna make it really big and I'm gonna say 200 pixels. Oh, that's actually a little bit too big. Let's, let's take it to 100. Okay, that's a little bit better. So at font size, 100 pixels. And then uh, next, let's change the color. So I'm, I'm at the end of the CSS and I'm going to hit tab and it brings me down to the, uh, to the next line. So if I say color, uh, and then let's say red. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we did in CodePen. Uh, next, let's do the text decoration, so the underlined. So again, I'm gonna hit tab, and if I say text, 
Now I started typing text and it's come up with a lot of different options. So if I move my down uh, arrow to text decoration, then I will say underline. Awesome. Now we did change that underline color to blue, didn't we? So I'm just going to bring my cursor back in here because I want to say blue. There we go. Now we have a blue underline and it's, there we go. It's a little bit easier to see there. Okay, what else did we do in CodePen? We did letter spacing. So let's do that one. And again, that just pops up for me. Uh, let's go with 20 pixels. So it's quite a lot. So now you can see that that letter sp spacing has taken effect. Uh, next, let's do text transform. Let's make all the letters uppercase. So if we say text uh, transform, there it is. And I say uppercase, there we go. Now all of our letters are uppercase. We've got letter spacing, the font size, the color, the text decoration, everything that we did in CodePen, we're now applying it to this real live website. And you can see the changes on the actual website, which is really cool. So let's now do the text shadow, because that was a fun one. So if we say text shadow, and then we said, let's go with 10 pixels, uh, 10 pixels, and then uh, well, let's just do 10 all around, and let's do green. There we go. Now we have that really funky kind of text shadow neon-y green coming off of that headline. Okay, so we've done our H1. What if we wanna make more changes on here? So there is a really easy way to select other elements on the page to change. Um, if you come over here to the left, see this little um, like arrow in the box? If I click on that, it's now blue. And then that means I can move my cursor around and I can select different areas, different elements to change. So in this case, let's go with the button. Let's change the background color of the button. So I've selected that. I'm gonna come over into my CSS and I'm gonna start typing background. And I know I want the background color, so I'm just gonna come down to that. And then let's say we want it to be purple. Awesome. So now you can see how just a, a very easy tool like inspect tools means you can come in, you can play with things, you can try different things, you can see what looks good. Um, now, don't get me wrong, this does not look great, <laughs> but that's not the point. It's just learning and playing around and experimenting. Now, of course, these are changes that I've only made on my browser. So the Zoom website, I have not changed it. If I refresh this page, you will see that that is now completely back to normal. Now we had our guitar guy who is just there. So this is what we were changing and now everything is completely back to normal. So there we go. How to change your text, how to style your text using CSS. How fun is that? So if you want to learn more, be sure to sign up for my free five-day coding challenge where I will walk you through step-by-step -step how to build a two-page website entirely from scratch. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit subscribe so you will be notified about next week's video.